Hello all of you, this is Praveen Patwari from Actuators Education Institute and today we have brought one more series, 5 minutes with Shivangi ma'am with respect to the paper CP2 Modeling Practice. Hello ma'am. So without wasting any more time, my first question to you is how much time does it take to prepare effectively for the exam of CP2 Modeling Practice? So effectively it takes two to two and a half months to practice for CP2 and every day the student can give two hours approximately since the students are working and on the weekends they must give three, three and a half hours that is to practice uh, mock papers uh, and they sh should actually sit down for three and a half hours to give that entire mock of paper one and paper two both. Now my next question to you is what is the structure of CP2 exam modeling practice like? So it is a two day examination, paper 1 is again 100 marks and paper 2 is also 100 marks. Uh, they take 50% weightage of each, basically the average of both the exams. Now uh, paper 1 contains modeling part where you need to make the model from scratch in the spreadsheet and the same you have to uh, write it in the audit trail as to the steps you have taken to build that model. Paper 2 is a uh, model will be given to your background to the model will be given to you. Audit trail will also be given to you and some parts of the model which is already made in the spreadsheet by some, uh, some of your colleague. You have to complete the model and then you have to move to the summary report. Uh, summary report generally is of 85, 80 to 85 marks uh, which contains lot of different sections. So this is basically spreadsheet plus MS Word both on paper 1 and paper 2 days. Okay, so my next question to you ma'am. What is the most difficult part in the exam uh, CP2 as per your experience? So the most difficult part I feel is time management since you have to build the model from scratch and then you have to write a lot of steps in your audit trail and same goes for uh, paper 2 which is you have to build upon the model which your colleague has made you have to first understand the model and then you have to build upon it and then you have to write a summary report which is approximately of 8 to 9 pages of MS Word. So time management is very important, uh, how much time you need to devote to the spreadsheet part and to the MS Word part which obviously will come uh, with practice and obviously I feel that paper 1 generally is lengthy for the students, uh, paper 2 is still fine. Uh, so I feel time management is one of the most difficult parts uh, in CP2. Okay. So my next question to you ma'am, CP2 has spreadsheet modeling as well as MS Word typing, right? So how to balance between them? So very important is to understand the marks weightage. Um, approximately 60 to 65 marks is given to the audit trail and approximately 80 to 85 marks is there for the summary report. So it's very important on uh, paper 1 that you give approximately 1 uh, hour 45 minutes to 2 hours to your audit trail so that you are able to write it very nicely and uh, follow all the steps, uh, follow all, uh, all the formatting rules and again in paper 2 I feel uh, approximately 2 to 2 and a half hours should be given to the summary report which actually contains a lot of details. In every term we get a new model so how can one approach the model and ace it? So uh, I feel first of all the students need to practice all the past papers approximately 10 to 12 papers need to be practiced. Uh, another thing is read the background very nicely, go very slow while reading and uh, while you are reading the question make sure you underline uh, the important words um, and the data inputs so that you can use it in your parameters sheet. Also another thing break down your model into steps um, and follow a particular format in your modeling part so the naming convention the colors scheme which you follow, uh, especially use a lot of parameters instead of hard coding or your um, work that is also very important. Understand what type of graph you can use, uh, where you can use those graphs, label the graphs very nicely. Uh, again in spreadsheet it's very important that you give a lot of self checks. So make sure in every tab you give a lot of self checks. Another thing spread out your work as much as possible use simple excel functions and uh, for every question use a new tab in your excel file that is also very important follow one particular pattern and do not change it in your exam that is again uh, important because in exam you will not be able to think of new ideas and also understand what the data is given uh, how you can correct the data validate the data because that also contains a lot of marks 
in your spreadsheet uh, and again as well as in your audit team and summary. So I think practice a lot on the part of solving a lot of different types of questions so that you get a holistic view. Okay. So what are the things to keep in mind for the modeling part? So first of all you need to understand the level of details that needs to be covered in the audit trail and in the summary. Do not write too much but at the same time try to maintain the level of detail which is required since a lot of marks is given to the audit trail and to the summary portion. So in the audit trail it's very important that you follow a particular pattern, you write the objectives, you write the data, you uh, write proper assumptions and you give all the modeling steps how you have modeled in your spreadsheet. Again, um, make sure every bit is covered. You do not leave any calculation unexplained. Uh, in audit trail, the level of detail uh, to explain the model part is too much. So make sure you maintain that particular level of detail. Again, in case of uh, in case of summary report, which is your paper two, so there are a lot of things to cover. Again, you have objective data section, assumptions, methodology. You have results, conclusion, and then you have the uh, next steps. Next steps and results approximately has 40 to 45 marks. So make sure you give at least 40 minutes to that. The next steps should be very nicely written approximately 20 to 25 next steps with new ideas and related to the model. That's very important which students do not do. In the results you put in all the graphs, all the necessary tables, explain it properly related to the data and give nice conclusions on the same. In the audit trail again it's very important that you write all the reasonableness checks uh, which contains more or less 5 marks which the students generally skip and they get a 0 over there. So all the self checks and reasonableness checks should be appropriately mentioned in both audit trail and in the summary report which, which is again very very important. So practice writing audit trail and summary which the students don't do. At least sit down and give that amount of time and write the audit trail and summary at a stretch so that you have that habit in the exam as well. Okay. So uh, my next question to you is what are papers one must clear before appearing for the CP2 exam? So I feel all the CM and CS series is very important, specifically CM1 and CS1 because it covers a lot of statistics, probability and data part uh, which you will uh, require for your uh, first of all data correction, data validation. You need some of the distributions like chi-square, normal distribution, all these are required in some of the papers. And again, uh, if you have done CM1, definitely it will help you. So I feel CM and CS series, that is your CM1, CM2, CS1 and CS2 are important for your CP2 examination. Um, it helps you in building the models, understanding the data and also it helps you in your Excel file as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you.